Well, good morning, everyone. Hope you're doing good and having a great week. To all my returning subscribers, thank you for your support. And to all our viewers and those recently subscribed, thank you and welcome to this channel. Well, it's time now to do an update on my Britannia Silver and Gold Coins collection. As you can see on your screen, I have all my Britannia coins over here. Uh, these are all from 2023 and they are the Type 1 with the portrait of Queen Elizabeth II by Jodie Clark. For those who might not be aware, the Royal Mint is releasing uh, two types of Britannias for this year. The first are being the ones over here with the portrait of the Queen, while the second will have the new portrait of King Charles III designed by Martin Jennings. For those who have watched my first video on the Britannia coins, you would have known that I don't actually collect these series of coins. But for this year, I decided to make an exception and I set myself a challenge to collect a one set of the one ounce gold coin and three sets of these silver coins. Well, I recently completed the challenge and for this video, we're going to go through both designs of the coins in gold and silver. And I'm going to end this video by explaining why I will not be collecting the Silver Britannias for the foreseeable future. But before we get into this, uh, do leave me a like if you enjoy this sort of content and don't forget to share and subscribe. So let's get into them. Alright, uh, we'll start with the new uh, one ounce Gold Britannia. Uh, these coins are minted in 3 nice fine gold, a depth of weight of 31.11 grams or 1 troy ounce, a diameter of 32.69 millimeter and a thickness of approximately 1.8 millimeter with a fully readed edge. Right here on the reverse, we can see the familiar image of Lady Britannia designed by Philip Nathan, plus all the security features that I already explained in my first video of these coins. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about the security features, I would encourage you to watch that video, the link of which I'll leave up here in the top right hand corner of your screen. Uh, just to quickly go through the uh, lettering on the border, we can see the name of the coin, Britannia, and the year issue 2023. Just over here, we have the composition of the metal, 1 ounce, 4 nines fine gold. Right here on the obverse, we have this new portrait of King Charles III, designed by Martin Jennings. You can see his initials, uh, MJ, uh, just over here at the base of the neck. And the portrait is facing to the left, uh, surrounded by all these legends here, which reads Charles III, DG Rex FD. The lettering here stands for By the Grace of God, King and Defender of the Faith. Uh, just over here, we have the face value of £100. Here I have both the one ounce gold coins side by side for comparison. As with tradition practiced by the Royal Mint for all their coins, the direction of the rainy monarch is uh, opposite to the previous monarch. You can see that King Charles III is facing to the left, while Queen Elizabeth II is facing to the right. Uh, we can expect that the next reigning monarch to be featured on the coin will be facing to the right. Uh, both these coins again are from 2023. Uh, these are really beautiful uh, gold coins. Uh, they do uh, constitute a substantial investment uh, if you want to get into the one ounce uh, gold coin series from the Britannia. But I think uh, getting uh, both the Type 1s and Type 2s of uh, 2023 for this series is probably a good idea if you wish to collect uh, the Britannias uh, for your collection. Uh, let's move on now with the Silver Britannias. As usual, I'll quickly go through the specifications. Uh, these coins are minted in 3 nice fine silver. They have a weight of 31.21 grams, a diameter of 38.61 millimeter, and a thickness of approximately 3mm with a fully readered edge. Right here on the reverse, we have the same design as seen on all previous Britannias. You can see this design here by Philip Nathan. And I will just like to draw your attention to the year 2023 and the composition of the metal, 1 ounce of 3 nice fine silver. Uh, it is on the obverse that things get a little bit interesting. And right over here, again, we can see the new portrait of King Charles III. Again, the portrait is facing to the left and you can see the uh, initials of the designer, uh, Martin Jennings, uh, just over here at the base of the neck. Uh, surrounding the portrait, we have the same legend as seen on the Gold Britannia, Charles III, by the grace of God, King and Defender of the Faith. Uh, the face value of the coin is now £2. 
Here are both the Silver Britannias uh, side by side for comparison. Here's the Type 1 uh, with the Queen, and here's the Type 2. Uh, both these coins again are from 2023. Now I mentioned in the first video that I don't collect uh, the Britannias. Uh, it's because uh, of the milk spotting issue. And if you can see on uh, your screen, I don't know if it comes out clearly, the coin over here has started the milk spot, which is a little bit unfortunate. I'm glad that the queen is still uh, pretty clear. I don't see any milk spotting on it. And this new coin here with the portrait of the king, is in uh, pristine condition as of now, but I don't know if Milk Spot is going to develop on it uh, anytime soon. And coming to the topic of Milk Spot, uh, we'll move on and we'll talk about why I won't be getting any more of these Silver Britannias for my collection. So I purchased uh, these new Britannias with the King from Bullion Star of Singapore about a month ago. Uh, the uh, staff, uh, the lady at the counter who helped me uh, get these coins uh, told me that she actually went through uh, two monster boxes of these newly arrived Britannias to find uh, three of the best ones for me. Uh, she went on to say that uh, the remaining coins in the two monster boxes were mostly covered with milk spots. Uh, that was uh, really shocking for uh, newly minted coins that just arrived in Singapore to be in such condition. In fact, if you were to look at these three coins here, uh, this first coin is uh, pretty much okay. The second coin here is also uh, pretty good. But unfortunately, uh, the third coin here, you can see a little bit of milk spotting starting to form uh, just below over here. still uh, pretty clear on the back but it's really unfortunate that even though the staff at uh, Bullion Star was really helpful to get uh, three of the best coins that you could find from the two monster boxes after a month uh, having these coins in my collection and placing them in these uh, quadrum intercept uh, capsules a milk spot has started to form on one of the coins uh, the story gets even worse with this Type 1 Series Britannias, which I purchased from Bullion Star uh, last year. The first coin here is in okay condition. Actually, it's uh, pretty nice. But the second coin here, as you can see, uh, there's some milk spotting uh, forming over here. And it's the same story with the third coin. Again, a mute spotting forming over here. Just a little bit, I can see uh, right down here. But again, uh, with the mute spots are forming, and I don't know if it's gonna get any worse, but if it does, uh, these coins are basically uh, bullion coins that you can uh, probably sell at just their uh, weight of the silver. Not much collector value in them if they continue to milk spot. With the uh, milk spotting issues that I'm experiencing uh, with this uh, Silver Britannias, as well as the Silver uh, Queen's Bee series coins that I have in my collection, I don't think I'll be getting into any more of the silver coins from the Royal Mint uh, in the foreseeable future, unless they make a concerted effort to fix the milk spotting problem I don't see any point in uh, getting uh, these coins for my uh, stack or for my uh, investment. Uh, any coins that I get in future from the Royal Mint is going to be the gold coins, which I think are, are really high quality, are really are very beautiful, well designed. And the quality of the coins, uh, again, are, are really are very good. I don't see any problems with them. And if they do come out with further designs, of uh, the uh, Britannia series in gold, I'll probably get into that uh, rather than the silver. Uh, before I end this video, I'd just like to uh, extend my thanks to the friendly staff at Bullion Star for trying to get me the best condition of Britannia that she could find from the back of the room. 
I know it was a lot of effort uh, going through two monster boxes just to find uh, three coins for me and I really appreciate that. So if you guys are in Singapore, uh, do uh, take your time to uh, make a point to visit uh, Bullion Star Singapore which is at Club Key. Uh, go over there, the staff there are really friendly and professionals and I'm sure you'll find something that will interest you uh, when you visit the store. And with that, I guess that will do it for this video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I know uh, many content creators in our communities who have uh, collected these Silver Britannias have expressed their disappointment with the milk spotting issues that they have experienced. Uh, if you are one of those uh, content creators, uh, I feel the, uh, the same sentiment when I share your feelings about uh, the silver coins. I uh, won't be getting into them uh, anytime soon. Uh, if you are not one of those uh, content creators and you come across this video and you have collected the silver Britannias for your investment, uh, do share with all of us about your experiences with the quality of the coins that you have in your collection. If you do have any questions or comments, uh, please leave them below. Otherwise, uh, don't forget to leave me a like if you have enjoyed this content and be sure to hit that share and subscribe buttons down here if you have not done so. As always from everybody over here, please take care, be safe and have a nice day.